<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, it's currently about 9.30pm Eastern Time. The Dokkan Now video slash JP livestream is still about two and a half hours away. And JP just got a data download that revealed all the information, all the details for the upcoming LR Boo tanks that transforms into um, Buhan and the LR Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Vegito. And also we're getting a new Boo Piccolo Absorbed right here, as well as a new Tien. Didn't expect Tien to get some more love, but I'm down, man. I'm down for that. He needs it. But anyways, um, what was Bandai thinking, man? What was Bandai thinking? Their, their stream is still, like I said, a couple hours away. And the main reason people were excited for the stream and the video, you know, was for the reveal of the animations for these two, right? The, the Buhan and also the, the Vegito. And now everybody already has all the details. I already can see all the animations on Twitter. There's a bunch of people that posted them. Um, why would they do this? Like, I just don't get it. I mean, they've done this before, but you would think that they would have learned from their mistakes, but clearly they didn't. And uh, we're gonna check them out, right? Like, it doesn't matter. I'm excited to, to share them with you right now, but I just kind of thought it would be more fun to, you know, see everything for the first time when the stream happened and when the Dokkan Now thing happened. I'm still gonna watch them for sure, but it's just not gonna be nearly as hype now. Anyways, uh, let's check it out, guys. So, like I said, we got a... Uh, it's, it's actually a Boo Tanks that transforms into a Boo Han and uh, Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Vegito through active skills. Both of them through active skills. And we're also getting a new uh, Boo Piccolo Absorbed and also a new Fizz Tien. All right, didn't expect Tien to get more love, but I'm down. All right, he needs it. So, uh, let's pop over here to Twitter now where Kawaii has posted all the animations for every single form of these units, the 12 key and the 18 key. So uh, big shout out to Kawaii, of course. And let's start with the Boo Tanks first. And let me just put on my headphones so I can hear everything. And let me actually just uh, turn off my own music as well. Here we go. Okay, so I've seen little parts of the animations, but not all the way through. So the reactions here should still be Pretty fresh. So here's the Bootanks, uh, 12 key super. You know what, it's not bad. That's not bad. It's the 12 key, it's before transformation, so I didn't expect too much, but it looks clean, right? Like it's not the craziest thing I've seen. It's not the best animation I've seen, but it's not bad. So that's the 12 key for Bootanks. Let's move on to the 18 key for Bootanks now. Okay, full screen. Let's go back a bit. Here we go. Yo, that's pretty sick. I really like that close up. Right, the close up before he launches the Kamehameha. That's pretty dope. Okay, cool. So that's the 18 key for Boo Tanks. There you go. These animations are actually really short, right? Like, I think these days we're used to much longer animations, right? For both TURs and LRs. But uh, yeah, these ones just seem a lot shorter than normal. If you guys hear the barking in the background, that's my dog, Jasper. Say what's up. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just shorter than I expected, you know? That's what she said. Anyways, let's move on to uh, Buhan now. There's a 12 key and 18. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me, let me play the active skill for the transformation into Buhan first, and then we'll watch his animations. Okay, so here is, yeah, here's the active skill. Let's see it with the voice line, of course, in Japanese. Here we go. This <laughs> Yeah, that's clean. That, that's that's clean. I like that. Okay, so far of all the animations we've seen, definitely my favorite one. I mean, it's not a surprise, of course, but uh, they always do these transformations, these active skills so well. The voice lines always sound so good, at least in Japanese. Um, a lot of times the English ones are kind of iffy, but that's usually the case with dubs, right? So 
uh yeah buhan transformation buhan active skill really nice okay so now let's watch these buhan animations starting with the 12 key here here we go okay 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 i don't mind that i don't mind that all right so that's the 12k for boo tanks or sorry buhan getting my different boos confused right now buhan and here's the 18 key for buhan yeah once again super short only 10 seconds <laughs> You know what? That looks really good too. Okay, so so far, my first impressions for all the animations, I would say good, like really good, but nothing too crazy, nothing mind blowing. You know, it doesn't feel like when I watched the, you know, LR Blue Fusions for the first time when they first came out, like I was going, I was losing my mind at that time. Okay, like when I saw those, I was like, oh my god, yo, Blue Gogeta, Blue Vegito, the active skills, everything. Like I just, I was like, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now, but. So far with Wuhan, not quite the same feeling. I wouldn't say he's like, you know, like super top tier for animations, but he's good. All right, he's good. I don't want to fake my reactions or anything like that, so I don't want to lie to you guys and be like, oh my god, best animations. But they're not bad. Okay, so let's move on to the Goku and Vegeta here, okay? Uh, okay, let's go. Was it just me or did it freeze for a bit there? Hold on. Uh, let me see if I can fix it. Okay, solid. So there's 12 key for Goku and Vegeta, 18 key now. nice uh yeah once again right like kind of short like why why are they so fast <laughs> why are they so fast were they like in a rush were they like strapped for time and they were like we can't really uh you know spend too much time animating these so let's just cut them short like they still look good but as far as like the lengthy animations go it, it's yeah it's, it's much shorter than i would have expected but uh yeah goku and vegeta 12 key 18 key both look solid uh, let's check out this, let's check out this active skill here into Vegito now. And I know I'm going to love this one. Okay, we, we've already seen like a good portion of it from the teaser from a couple days ago. So I already know the whole Patara thing, you know, and like, you know, throwing the Patara, putting them on, the fusion part. And we, all, we also saw the base Vegito, like part of him as well. But we didn't see the transformation into uh, Super Vegito yet, so uh let's go i'm gonna shut up i'm talking too much let's check it out yo <laughs> Yo, that looks so good. That looks so clean. I love that. I love that. Yo, as much as Buhan was like not the most impressive to me. Yo, there's the counter too. Oh, yo, I forgot about, I forgot about the counter. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, when he transforms, he can counter just like other Super Vegitos. And there's the animation for the counter. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Um, yo, by the way, how sick is that? Is that theme for Vegito? I think it's this one. I'm gonna leave it at that. We could listen to the whole thing, obviously, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, they've been killing it with the OST. Yo, Dokkan in general just has like one of the best soundtracks of any, not just Gotcha game, just a game I've played. You know, it's so, 
so hyped, man. They're so good at like hyping us up with the music. Um, that's awesome. Okay, so let's uh, let's 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 watch the animations for the Super Vegito now. Uh, let's see. Okay, twelve key for Vegito. Here we go. That's kind of sick. I, I, okay, here's the thing. Per personally, I feel like they probably could have done this animation specifically better because the way that Legends did it with like the perspective, like super high in the sky and all that stuff, uh, honestly, I think it looked better. So I think they could have taken a note out of Legends animation for Super Vegito. Um, like the, I think it's the legendary finish, right? It, it's, still, it's still good. It still looks very good, but I think it could have been better. Just my opinion. Now let's move on to the 18 key here. That's sick. That's sick. Now, honestly, I like them, right? I really do. And 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 that that active skill for Goku and Vegeta into Vegito, you know, that really did it for me. Especially with the music, like it's the combination of everything. But as far as the actual attacks go, they they're not they're not blowing my they're not blowing me away. All right? I'll, I'll be honest, they're they're not. Like they're great. Especially Vegito's, like, I think Vegito definitely wins in the in the showdown between the two units, right? I definitely think Vegito has the better animations. Um, but, you know, I think they're just, like, really good. I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say they're, they're, like, in the top five or anything like that. That's just me, though. All right, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about that. If you guys agree with me or disagree with me. Um, obviously, I want to hear different opinions. But those are all the animations. Uh, let's pick. Let's let's quickly look at the Bukolo and Ten as uh, and Ten, Tian or Ten Shinhan as well. So here's the Ten or Tian. Whoa, whoa. Yo, that's actually really. That's actually really cool, man. Yo, Tian getting a ton of love. I did not see this coming, guys. I did not see Tian getting this much love. Like his animation is actually really solid. All right, there we go. There's Tian and also we have the Bukalo. All right, that's solid, that's solid. You know, Tian, Tian's better, but um, yeah, those are all the animations, guys. Uh, thank you to Kawhi once again for posting those. This video is going actually really long, so I'm gonna move on to Reddit here and uh, give you guys the details. All right, for both the Goku and Vegeta, as well as the Boo Tanks, and of course, both of them will transform. And of course, a huge shout out to the homie Goresh, all right, for these translations. We appreciate him as always. So for Goku and Vegeta, right, LR Goku and Vegeta Angel, their leader skill, their leader skill is Psychological Warfare, which is a new category, of course. Oh, by the way, let's uh, turn on the music before I forget. Uh, this is fine, yeah, this is fine. Okay, so Psychological Warfare or Majin Buu Saga, Ki plus 3, uh, HP plus 130%, Attack and Defense plus 170%. Super Attack, uh, 12 key is Joint Rival Combat, raises Attack and Defense for 1 turn and causes Colossal Damage. And 18 key, raises Attack and Defense for 1 turn and causes, causes Colossal Damage. It's not Mega Colossal? I'm not sure if this was a mistake, usually 18 keys are Mega Colossal Damage, right? So I'm not sure about this one. It should be Mega Colossal Damage, but maybe it is just Colossal Damage, which would be kind of weird. Okay, moving on. Uh, passive is Attack and Defense plus 120%, reduces damage received by 30%, and Key plus 1 in addition when collecting um, collecting Type Key Spheres. Collecting Type Key Spheres. One sec. Collecting... I think it might just be Key Spheres. I think it might just be when collecting Key Spheres, Key plus 1 in addition. And then medium chance to launch an additional super attack. Okay, so uh, essentially they're getting a good amount of attack and defense right off the bat. 120% for an LR is really, really good. And then 30% damage reduction is pretty nice as well. And then um, this is going to help them get their 18k super really easily. 
and uh, also the chance to launch an additional super attack. I'm assuming this is about 25% to 30%. And then for their active skill, they of course fuse. It can be used when 4 turns or more have elapsed and HP is 77% or below. So that, I mean, at least compared to the units from last year, really good, okay? I mean, I wish it was 77% or above, would have been even better. But 77% or below is really not that hard to meet in only 4 turns. So uh, they did this right. They did this right. I have no complaints about that. Link, Saiyan Warrior Race, ex uh, Experienced Fighter, Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Psychological Warfare, Majin Buu Saga, Patara, Pure Saiyans, Joined Forces, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and Final Trump Card. Now for Super Vegito, his 12 key is Spirit Excalibur. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. An 18 key is Super Kamehameha. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is recovers 50% HP once only. Attack and defense plus 150%. Medium chance to perform a critical hit. So once again, about 25 to 30%. Counters with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks. And key plus one in addition when collecting key spheres. Key plus five and reveals the location of enemy super attacks for 10 turns from first from first appearance. Wow. Okay, so for 10 turns, you can see super attacks. You get an extra five key. He's also getting one key in addition for every key sphere obtained. So he's gonna be, be basically always getting his ultra super. Like it's gonna be hard to not get an ultra super with him. And he's also countering. And on top of that, he gets a medium chance to perform criticals. So he's also an STR type, right? So he gets up to 20 um, crit in his hidden potential system already, like on the grid, right? Without, without skill orbs. So you add that onto the medium chance to crit but even without even without any dupes he's, he's still like having a really high chance to crit because he's also getting um five crit just for free like free dupe right in the hidden potential system so dude he's gonna be crit countering all the time man that's amazing attack and defense plus 150 percent dude yo he's so good <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, Lynx, um, he loses Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighter, Saiyan Lineage, um, and Shocking Speed, and he gets Super Saiyan, Power Bestowed by God, Fused Fighter, and Kamehameha. So those are the links that change. So that is the Vegito right there. What can I say, man? That's a crazy unit right there. That's a crazy unit. I'm not ready to say like best unit in the game or anything like that. I need to really test it out, but um, top tier. Right, very, very much like at least I want to say at least top five, right? Like based on my just on paper impressions. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. So those are the details. You guys make your own, um, you know, opinions. Uh, make your own, um, you know, rankings as far as like where he ranks in the in the top, you know, LRs list. But I'm I'm gonna leave it until I have some more ideas or like some more. You know, information as far as gameplay goes but yeah he he is he's fantastic i'll tell you that right now he's very very good and for the boo tanks here okay leader skill is absorb power or majin power category key plus four hp plus 130 percent and attack and defense plus 170 percent so he plus four but um yeah his categories are a little bit rough uh, i'll tell you right now his categories are not the best you'll see in a second uh, super attack, 12 key, raises attack and causes colossal damage. And 18 key, raises defense and causes mega colossal damage. So these, of course, are both infinitely stacking. So 12 key will make him hit harder. 18 key will make him uh, get more defense. And if you can consistently get that 18 key super, which is actually pretty easy for him, um, he's going to be really, really tanky in longer events. So his passive is recovers 12% HP at the start of the turn. Attack and defense plus 120%. Key plus one in addition when collecting STR. Wait, when collecting... Yeah, it says type key spheres again. Oh, so maybe it means like the same type key spheres. So for for Boo, for Boo tanks, it would be like Fizz types. And then for uh, Megido, maybe it's STR types. Or for Goku and Vegeta, maybe it's STR types. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm assuming. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll know for sure once the, I guess, uh, global data download comes through. But uh, yeah, I'm a little bit confused about that. But let's move on for now. 
and uh, medium chance to launch an additional super attack. Alright, so like I said, he's going to be getting his 18k super pretty consistently because of this part of the passive. And uh, yeah, he's going to be super tanky, man, for LGE, for Infinite Dragon Ball History, and any other future events that have a similar setup to that. And then for the links, it's Metamorphosis. Oh, sorry, let's uh, talk about the, the transformation. Okay, Absorption, that's the active skill. Able to be used once four turns or more have elapsed, and HP is 50% or higher. Okay, so that's even better than Vegito's um, conditions because it's it's the same amount the same amount of turns, but it's 50% HP or more, which obviously for the most part is actually easier to meet than than being below a certain amount of HP. So, yeah, great condition right there. Uh, links are metamorphosis, shocking speed, wall standing tall, fear and faith, Majin, fierce battle, legendary power. The categories are absorb power, Majin power, Majin Buu saga, transformation boost, artificial life forms, Kamehameha and final trump card all right so both of them are in final trump card that category is just dumb uh, i mean it did not need a boost but uh oh both of them are also in kamehameha right so wow okay yeah uh kamehameha also getting a huge buff that's that that's great and for buhan here 12 key raises attack for one turn causes colossal damage 18 key raises attack for one turn also, same thing, it causes Mega Colossal Damage. Passive is recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn. Attack and defense plus 150%, performs an additional attack, which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Key plus 1 in addition when collecting Key Spheres, and then Key plus 5 for 5 turns um, from first appearance, and seals the enemy's super attack for 5 turns once only. Seals the su oh, super attack of the attack enemy for 5 turns once only. Interesting. Okay, so he doesn't get the key for as many turns. Vegito gets it for 10 turns, I believe. Right? Uh, yeah, 10 turns and also reveals location of enemy super attacks. And for Bu tanks, or for, for Buhan rather, it's key plus 5 for 5 turns, but he also seals the enemy super attack for 5 turns, but it's only once. So I would definitely I would definitely take I would definitely take Vegito's like last part of the passive over over Boo Tanks, but that's, why do you keep saying Boo Tanks? Boo Han, Boo Han. But uh, this is still very good. Yeah, this is still very good. Um, yeah, both of them are fantastic. But look, I, I think when it comes to who's better, it, it's not really that close. It's not really that close. Uh, let's be honest. Okay, Vegito is much better. If if for nothing else but the counters, if for nothing else but the counters, Vegito is definitely the much better unit. Okay, I, I'm ready to say that right now. So that's the de details for both of these units. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Um, I think both of them are fantastic, but especially Vegito is uh, is it's gonna be really really impressive. I can't wait for some gameplay. I can't wait to do a showcase for you guys. Definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, before we go, we're gonna check out these new categories, right? So. For Vegito, it's called Psychological Warfare. Uh, here it says Brain War, but I'm pretty sure that's just the um, like direct translation. Uh, probably by Google Translate, so uh, yeah, take that with a grain of salt. Let's say Psychological Warfare, because that sounds better to me. And here it is, right? So we have basically all the Vegitos. We have um, Vegito Blues. We have uh, Trunkses couple of Krillins. Um, people are basically calling this like the trash talk category, and it kind of is, right? So uh, there you go, guys. That is the category. It's not bad. It, it's a solid category, but it's not like, it, it's not the best category I've seen either. Um, I would say it's a good category. I would say it's a good category, but keep in mind, he also leads Majin Buu Saga. So it's also going to include, you know, Ultimate Gohans and stuff like that. So uh, overall, you know what? He's gonna be good. For, like as a leader, he's gonna be a really good leader. So I have no issues with this. And the fact he can bring uh, Vegito Blues is just a, a very, very, very nice bonus. So yeah, there's the there's a new category for Vegito. And moving on to the category for Buhan here. Um, yeah, absorbed power, right? The name is pretty self-explanatory. Bunch of booze. Um, you know, Omega Shenron, 
a couple of androids. It's not it's not the worst. It's not that good of a category though, if I'm being completely honest. And the other one is Majin Power, which you know includes a lot of the boos once again. So his leader skill overall, like both the categories he lead, uh, doesn't get me that excited. It doesn't get me that excited. But he is in a bunch of other categories, so you don't necessarily have to run him as a leader. So that's important to note, of course. Um, but yeah, his own categories for his leader skill, eh, eh, not, yeah, I'm not that excited about it. But there you go, guys. That's the new absorption or absorb power category. There's the psychological warfare category. Those are the details for both the new LRs. And uh, we also saw the animations, of course. But that is essentially all there is to talk about in today's video, guys. Data download came a couple hours before the uh, Tokon Now stream slash, uh, or sorry, video slash the, you know, JP stream. I don't really understand it. I don't know what they were thinking, but it is what it is. You know, not much we can do about it now. And I guess Bandai will just continue not learning from their mistakes, man. It just makes no sense to me. It's so dumb to me, but it's fine. So that's today's video, guys. I know it went a little bit long. Hopefully it was worth it, though. Hopefully you guys are excited for the, uh, upcoming banners as far as the release date goes it's august 29th 2020 at 12 45 a.m pacific daylight time which is 3 45 a.m eastern time okay so from the time i release this video there's probably going to be about like five hours to go but obviously the exact time will be available on the dokkan on the dokkan wiki so make sure to go check it out over there but that's all i gotta say guys all right that is the video that's it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.